As you can see, we have all 13 cubes in here and then in this home. And also we have three cubes in home. Uh, three peanuts, not cubes. The slide figures can go down the slide easily. The pull-up bar is very stable, so if the robot wants to hang on it, it can. The health unit in between the pull-up bar thing is on it properly. The tires have green and white side here and here. The step counter is very hard to see. I'm applying pressure and it's not moving right now. And then uh, and now the uh, health unit is set up properly. The treadmill can move all the way around and back. All six of our position tokens are in the place. The row machine can move into the circle and back. The health unit is in its proper place. The weight machine can go down and hang, and the mechanism is in its correct place and is correctly working. The cell phone can be flipped onto its white side. So this is set properly. This is the Bossia aim, and the robot is supposed to move this up and then get it into the Bossia target. This is the Bossia frame. Oh. <laughs> this is the health unit. And um, these, this is the dance spot, Ooh, floor. floor. This is the Bossia frame, and you're supposed to put it up like this and get the cubes down. And this is set properly. Um, this is the basketball, and it goes up. And it stays. This is the health unit, and it's placed And then the basketball, I mean the bench goes down, and it goes out. This is the end of season our math instruction. Mm. We have two color slash light sensors, two uh, volume casters, two media motors that are connected to gears that power all our attachments that are motor that use motors. We have two large motors connected to the largest wheels in the Spike Prime kit. And our brick has a three axis gyro sensor. And our blue, here's proof that our Bluetooth is off. Second attachment is also beneath the 
12 inch height limit. On the robot. Pull up the floor, we went underneath the 
underneath it. For the step counter, we got blue. Oh, and we got one precision token. 